So let's look at example number 21, calcium oxide and aluminum make aluminum oxide and calcium. So if I look at calcium, calcium has a plus two charge. We know that oxygen has a minus two charge. So calcium oxide would be CaO. And aluminum, since it's just a metal by itself, it would just be Al. It's going to make aluminum oxide. Now we know that aluminum has a plus three charge. We know oxide has a minus two charge. So that means I need to have two aluminums and three oxides to make a neutral chemical. So I have AlO3. And we're going to have calcium and it's a metal all by itself. So now let's look at our reactants and our products to see if we have everything balanced out. So we have calcium, we have aluminum, and we have oxygen. So if I look at calcium, I have one calcium on each side. If I look at aluminum, on this side I had two aluminums. But on, or on this side I had one aluminum, this side I had two aluminums. But I need to get two aluminums, so I'm going to put a two in front of that. So now I have two aluminums on this side, and I have two aluminums on that side. If I look at oxygen, on this side I only have one. But on this side I have three. So that means I need to go and put a coefficient of 3 in front of my calcium oxide. So that changes the number of oxygens, but it also changes the number of calciums to 3, which means I need to change the coefficient in front of this calcium metal to a 3. So then in our final answer, we have 3 calcium oxides plus 2 aluminums yield aluminum oxide plus 3 calcium. So now we have our balanced chemical equation. Have a great day. Bye-bye.